cards. How about you guys, though? Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? Let's throw them on, you know. I mean, pads are, you know, that's that's how we're going to be playing the game. So you might as well get them on early and, and, and get used to it. How much more excitement level for you personally to get this season going, you know, since you missed uh, more than a handful of games last year? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fired up and, uh, you know, trying to do what I can to, to help this team in any way I can. So uh, just trying to stay focused on, on what I need to do each day help out the younger guys when I can and, and learn from them, you know, uh, from things they do right or wrong. Uh, so just trying to, trying to do the best I can. I want to ask you a question about DeMarco and, and how important you think the explosiveness he showed last year helped your offense in general, if he can encore that kind of performance this year. I mean, I hope, yeah, I hope he, he, he does awesome and we're, and we're out there trying to block for him and, and make things happen. It's not my, you know, I'm not in the business of, uh, forecasting what's going to happen but uh i hope yeah i'm in the business of hoping and uh yeah i'm gonna uh, i hope uh yeah i hope i hope he does better than he did last year i hope all of us stay healthy and i hope everything goes great the evidence is pretty good you don't have to forecast but the evidence with him is pretty good absolutely is there an attitude difference from the coaches on down the players in training camp this year uh you know, yeah. I mean, hopefully, I think we uh, we got a positive attitude. We're staying focused on our on our job at hand, and uh, you know, we're not trying to talk too much about what's going to happen in the future. What you know, what's ahead of us. We're we're looking down to to each day, and that's really what it takes. You have to you have to stay focused on each day, get better each day, and then let the things happen later that are going to happen. You and Dez have such a camaraderie out there. You work hard, but you have fun. You guys are tossing the ball to each other after after passes and stuff like that. But what about a third receiver? You guys had Leron Robinson. He was in that group. Now, who who looks to you to be able to step up and join uh, join you and Dez and, and have that camaraderie of a of a third receiver? I mean, it's it's not my decision to make. Uh, I think we got a lot of guys that that are working hard and and uh, eager to, to get in there. I mean, it's not like we're just going to only have three spots at receiver I would assume that we're gonna have probably fives you know so something like that even though I don't even know if that if we're gonna do that because that's not my you know job to, to discuss but uh, I think I think whoever uh, is gonna fill that role is gonna be deserving of it and uh, everyone's proven that right now uh, he's sharp coming out the gate you know <laughs> no, I was just joking he's uh, no he is though he's uh he, he knows he's on top of his stuff. He's working hard, catching balls, um, you know, on top of his, his assignments and, uh, you know, just overall generally working hard. So that's that's what all the coaches are looking for. And that's what, you know, that's what our job is.